Maybe that they, the 15-year-olds could fully control their front, frontal lobes, but maybe it's a kind of a cultural thing that there's a lot of violence going on, and right, the levels, the, the rates of violence. Okay, so anyways, um, I guess so one of these, another study that's done was deputy attorney at Delaware has tried only two juveniles for capital murder in the past 15 years, and he believes that the death penalty should stay open um, as an option because the severity of punishment is an individualized decision whether they're an adult or a juvenile. So basically, like we're raised um, all under all in a culture, we all know that death, like um, rape, murder, torture, any of that is wrong. I think that, yeah, like whether you're an adult or juvenile, you know what's right, what's right and what's wrong. And um, yeah, it's an important tool for preserving law and order. It deters crime, keeps our streets clean. Um, and executed killers can't harm again. If you're executed, that's Ten you're deterred. And it also doesn't violate the Constitution or the founding fathers. So. Okay. Our argument, right? Yeah. Okay. Um. So we uh we referenced this cool document called the Constitution, and the Fourteenth Amendment, uh, Section One, part of it says, uh, "Nor shall any state deprive any person of life, liberty, or property." Death penalty is denying them their right to life. So that is that's a direct, you know, direct uh, conflict with the Constitution. Um, we aren't sure if this person is 100% guilty. There have been multiple cases where someone was put in prison for supposedly killing someone, and then you come back 20, 25 years later, and DNA evidence shows that they didn't do it. So if you kill that person who wrongfully was accused, not only are you denying their, their constitutional rights, but you're also killing an innocent person as well. Someone who is guilty is out there somewhere. Um, somewhat spiritual and religious reasoning, um, based on forgiveness, you know, an eye for an eye would make a whole world blind. So you kill someone, we kill you. That's just a vicious cycle. 15 right? seconds. Um, and also killing children, quote unquote, under the age of 18. Okay. Yeah, if you haven't given them enough time for them, their brains to fully develop and figure out what kind of person they have truly going to be, perhaps you should wait until they're 25 and, and evaluate what kind of person they are after, after, even if they committed a crime at a younger age, rather than killing them before. Nice summary. Uh, 60 second closing.
lobes radiating through them. Their, uh, their, their frontal lobe is not fully developed. Um, so basically, you're judging a decision that could have been made slightly irrationally, um, and you're, you're, killing, you're, you're, you're advocating killing them off before figuring out what kind of person they're truly going to be. Um, so yeah, mental illness, could be, mental illness could be a factor, um, and so it should be analyzed, and, and it should be done on an individual case before just sending them off to kill them. All right, thanks, people. That was good. Um, I really like how you guys put a lot of effort into this, and thank you for thinking about this kind of controversial topic in a way that we're kind of thinking about in this adolescent and brain topic. So we'll let you guys talk for about a minute, and you guys can say who you think is the winner. And um, you guys can go back to your seats if you want to. You guys like chat among yourselves. <laughs> Amendment, it's against the Constitution, 
and you put like effort into that, but overall we thought that the pro team put more research into it, put more data and like numbers and researchers and into it, so the, about the brain, like the brain and, and, and how it's developing. And, and this class. Yeah. Okay, congratulations pro Object. team. Object. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, that's okay. Okay, you can go back to and then we'll talk about this one scenario. I think we'll get through two scenarios and then we can get out of here. So, um, what are some brain related factors that might come into play in this scenario? process for decoding might not be intact. Um, there's a lot of research in uh, kids with dyslexia that show that decoding and um, sight word recognition are different pathways of the brain, so that might be a reason. So what would you do to help him? parts of his brain, even though they, they were damaged, maybe uh, different areas would take over for those functions because the brain is so plastic when they're young. Um, and it looks like we're out of time, so let me just review what we are going to do, and then you guys can get out of here. So, take home message, how do adolescents' brain develop, and what are the impl implications? Uh, think about that. Uh, your less Next lesson is going to be on memory, and that's your homework. Um, I think I you collected your homework today, 